Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the third edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today is our lesson number. 168 day, day 3168 3 is to signify the fact that we are in the third edition third edition day 168 we are in the process of solving problems from the two practice tests that you see that, that you will find at the end of the book on page number 495 the very last problem on page 495 number 23 is what we're going to deal with let's take a look at it shall we number 23 the very very last problem, as I said, on page 495. It says that Alice, some individual by the name of Alice, earns D dollars. We are further told that she pays T percent. She pays T percent in taxes. The question simply is, question simply is, what does, what does she, what does she have left over? What does she have left over? After having paid, after having paid T percent of her income, which happens to be D dollars, what would she have left over? Let's work on it, shall we? So here's the solution. We know, we know that she earns D dollars. We also know that she pays, she pays T percent, T percent of D dollars. You still with me so far? Now, let's work on this thing, even though it's very simple, but let's work on it. This is something we just talked about yesterday. This is something, this is some, this, this part we're talking about here. This concept here is a very simple concept. We talked about it just yesterday, and I'm going to repeat. When we were doing problem number, when we were doing problem number 22, we talked about it. Number 22 yesterday we did it, and at the end of the problem, I told you that 55% of the people got it wrong. When majority of the people, when majority of the people taking the exam is getting something as simple as this wrong, that means we have to make sure that we understand the concept, even if it appears to be a very simple concept. Do you understand? And the concept is this, this concept right here. We just talked about it, as I said just yesterday. Just yesterday when, you t when we dealt with problem number 22, the one right above it, we talked about this concept here. What does the word percent mean? What does the word percent actually mean, literally? Are you able to dissect the word? Just like we did yesterday, if you watched yesterday's video, you know percent is made up of two parts, the prefix per and then cent. Cent is where the word century comes from. Per cent means per 100, which is same as saying out of out of 100. Per cent means out of 100. Per cent means out of 100. So if someone says if someone says 37 percent, that simply means 37 out of 100. Of course we know that. Of course we know that. If someone says if someone says uh, 20 percent. 20% simply means 20 out of 100. And somebody, would, and somebody would tell you, if somebody would tell you 3 and a quarter percent, 3 and a quarter percent simply means 3 and a quarter divided by 100. And you worry about simplifying this letter. You worry about simplifying this letter uh, as to what it's going to reduce to. It's not our concern right now. The point is, it is 3 quarter over 100. You write that first, and then of course we go on to say that that is same as 3 out of 400. But three quarter simply three quarter percent three quarter percent simply means three quarter out of one hundred. Here we do not have three quarter percent, we do not have thirty seven percent, nor do we have twenty percent. We have t percent. T is some unknown quantity. T percent. So let's take a look at it. Right here. So we're going to translate this thing. T t t percent means out of one hundred. Out of one hundred. And the word of simply means time, times. Times what? Times this amount, D. 
this is how much he pays in taxes. This is how much he pays. This is how much he pays in taxes. Pays this many dollar in taxes. Well, if she pays this many dollar in taxes, we can figure out what's left over. Because she had D dollars to begin with. She had D dollars to begin with. That means she must have what is left over. Let's 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 use let's use the letter L to represent the leftover. What does she have left over? What she earned D dollars and out of which she paid this much amount in taxes. So D dollars minus T over 100 times D. T over 100 times D is what she has left over. With me so far? Let's continue. We need the room. We need the room. Now, let's look at these two quantities and see what we can do because we can't leave it like this. It is in a row. This, this answer is not wrong, but it is in a row form. We need to cook it a little bit because no answer choice will match this one. We have to cook it a little bit. You understand? We have to present it in a little bit more refined form. When you're going to put something at the dining table, you don't just throw this stuff there. It has to be presented properly. Do you understand? Here is D and here is D. How many Ds do we have here? How many Ds do we have? Well, of course, everybody knows it. We have one D. When there is no coefficient, that means we have one of them. It's one D and here we have D here. Why don't we take out, why don't we take out that element common? That's the common factor. That's the common for factor from these two quantities. This quantity right here and this quantity right here. D is common. D is common. Let's take it out common, shall we? After we take away D common, what are we left from the first term? From this term, we are left with 1. And what are we left from this term? We took out the D, we are left with T over 100. Minus T over 100. Still with me? We need the room, obviously, so I have, to, I have no choice but to raise this part. We're almost done. D times 1 minus 1 over 100. How do we write 1 over 100 in decimal? 1 over 100 in decimal is simply 0 0.01. So T, T over 100 would simply be 0 0.01 T. 0 0.01 times T. Because this is same as, this is same as T times 1 over 100. T over 100 is the same as T times 1 over 100. Therefore, it's 0 0.0 times times 0 0.01 times T. That's it, we're done. T over 100 is simply going to be 0 0.01 times t. Well, this is how much, let's erase all of this thing, we don't need any of this stuff. This stuff is also gone, and this is how much he has left over. The letter L, the letter L represents the amount of money that she has left over. And we're going to go through the answer twice and see which one matches this one. D times 1 minus 0 0.01 t dollars. This is, this obviously is dollar amount, because that's what she has left over. This is dollar amount. And let's answer choice E. Answer is E. Answer is E. Again, as always, if you're curious about the percentile as to how people did in this particular question, and that was the reason, that was the reason why I took our sweet time, why I went so slowly in explaining nitty-gritty detail in excruciating uh, steps to make sure that we do not miss anything. Only 37% of people got it right. The rest of the people had trouble with it. And we can very quickly verify it if you wanted to. We could very quickly verify it. Say, for example, if you like to verify, let's verify it very quickly, okay? Let's say, for example, she earns, let's do verification here. Verify. Let's say, let's say, let's say she earns $800. So that will be our letter D. That's our D. D equals 800 in this scenario. And let's say that she pays she pays 30% in taxes, in taxes. In other words, 30%, 30, 30%, percent, 30 percent, which is same as T percent. In other words, here T equals 30. In this scenario, T equals 30. Are you with me? If you were to if you were to print this value, D, 800 for D in this thing, and 30 for T in this thing, it should give us the right answer. Let's, let's find out, shall we? Let's put it right in here. So D is 800, and then times 1 minus 0 0.01 times 
times t times t which is 30, 30 percent. Now what do you suppose 30 times 0 0.01 is? Because this is this has two decimal places, this is two decimal places, 30 times 0 0.01. You simply take pick up the decimal and move it three two places, one, two, right here. It will become one minus 0.3 times 800, which is same as 800 times 0.7. There you go, it makes perfect sense. What she, what she has left over, what she has left over is 70% of 800. She has 70% left over because she paid 30% to Uncle Sam. Do you understand? She paid 70% in taxes, so it's 30% in taxes, so she has 70% left over. What does it tell us? It tells us that this answer is correct. That it tells us that this expression that we came up with is in fact correct. And it is not an expression, it's an equation right here. By expression I meant from here to here, this expression that represents the amount of money she has left over is correct. I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll do number code 24. And believe it or not, we are rapidly approaching the very end of our journey because tomorrow is going to be our penultimate day. Tomorrow is going to be our penultimate day. I know we have talked about this word many, many day, many, many times. The reason I want to talk about it again is not because of this particular word, it's because I want to bring it to your attention that the vocabulary videos are there on my channel. And if you are interested in improving your vocabulary, and I see no reason why Anybody would not be interested in improving the vocabulary if the person is about to sit for the GRE. I know that you're working on the math portion of the exam because you're watching this video. I know you're working on math, but you must not neglect. You mustn't neglect the other half, the verbal part. And the most important ingredient in the verbal GRE is the vocabulary, knowing the words, the words that appear on a regular basis in the GRE over and over again. Master those words. On my channel, you will find 100 videos. Just type in just type in GRE vocabulary words and I'll tell you when we learned about penultimate. Day number 11. Day 11. So you will simply type in, you will simply type in GRE vocabulary words, day 11. Watch the videos, you will learn that word and along with several other vocabulary words. There are 100 as I told you before and you should avail yourself to that, those videos. You should make use of them. You understand? I'll see you tomorrow. Bye now.